Hi there, um, I wanted to do a little talk. Um, I want to do a talk on manipulated intelligence. <clears throat> I talk about counterintelligence, but this is counterintelligence. What am I going to talk about? Um, and it's basically, I've been thinking about this for a little while. And, you know, the education system, as I say, is for perceptual control. Um, it's not to build your intelligence. It's actually to manipulate your intelligence. Um, not fully to take it away. What they want is they, this is why they do tests and all this different stuff, is they want to um, see your intelligence, but then when you go to university, when you go higher up, they're manipulating your intelligence. So you think in the way the system wants. So you're in, in a prison, in a mind prison. So it's not that you're stupid. I mean, sometimes I over-exaggerate. You're still just repeating. Um, um, but that's what it is. It's manipulated intelligence. That's what the education system is. It's about seeing your spark and manipulating that in their favour. So that you're working for them. You're thinking how they want you to think. Like a robot, basically. <clears throat> and this is something, yeah, I've been going over it quite a lot. And... Um, yeah, that's what the education system is. Everything is, is basically systematic counterintelligence. Um, trying to get you to think in a way that they want. They've got to do this. If you want to control the world, this is kind of like what you've got to do. And, um, you know, obviously I, I tap into this information all the time. And I've actually looked on the internet and there's not half as much information as I've got on counterintelligence. Um, you can look yourself and, and, you know, I'm starting to think, you you know, what the hell am I tapping into? Obviously, you know, I'm tapping into my infinite. Your records of, of you are infinite, you see. And when you awaken, as, as I have, you're not just tapping into the separate experience, you see, or even your past lives from this experience, this body or whatever. You're tapping into other people. So it, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm tapping to my experiences. I could be tapping to other. I could be tapping to experiences from an from an officer that's done this kind of stuff, because you're tapping to the real self, the real I, when you awaken, and the real I is the infinity of everything. So it's you. It's it's an animal. It's the trees. It's it's the skies. It's 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 infinity, and it's this infinity that makes your experience possible. Um. And if you think about it, you know, I think common sense would tell you that that would have to be the case. You would have to come from a power that is an infinity of consciousness. Um, and that would, ha that would allow your experience to be like what David Icke says. That we, you know, I like that line from David Icke when he says, we are just um, a point of attention within an infinite consciousness. And that is the absolute truth. Because when you are this infinite power, really this infinite power... Um, you can just manifest things at a drop of a hat. <clears throat> but we come here to experience harshness in our reality where it's not so easy to manifest, where you've got to work a bit. And that's why we come here. So, cause, because it's more of a challenge, you see. Um, but going back to this counterintelligence, yeah, if you just look in a room, for example, um, you can actually see things. I do this quite a lot. I look in a room of, of someone... Um, of their own house or something and you can see little items and things that is a reflection of their personality and this is the counterintelligence because it's a long range goal something planned 1899 could take till 2000 to implement that's how long counterintelligence is planned for that kind of thing and this is to get your perceptions buying your furniture or pictures or whatever that reflects your personality and what this is doing is reflecting to you the counterintelligence, the perceptual control of which the system has organised. So once you're totally perceptually programmed, you're buying things and you're going to be interested in things that is to do with this counterintelligence. It doesn't just start from this life. It starts from, from a long time ago and then that takes you to the next life and then there's counterintelligence there, takes you to the next life and so on. That's how it's done. And it's in it's in your in your subconscious, and so you're then buying things, and everything you're experiencing is just reflecting back at you this systematic counterintelligence. Um, yeah, and and obviously, you know, obviously, you know, when it comes to counterintelligence, I, I'm, you know, I'm relentless on this stuff. 
and that's because I'm constantly downloading information on it and anyone can do it and um, anyone can awaken how you awaken is you've got to look at everything as you everything your deflection um, if you authentically do this you'll start to access that tiny space in your heart you'll go within and that's when you tap into your divinity this counterintelligence is to keep you away from that but you've got to realize that everything outward is, is, is that it's like I always say in biblical terms um, the snake is a counterintelligence expert and the fruits are all counterintelligence operations you were told to stay away from the fruits so that's you see what I mean? Um, so you've just got to have that way about you. Just trust what's within you. Because the only your soul knows. Um, I get people asking me questions sometimes and, and I don't even respond. But the reason I don't respond is because I know nothing compared to your soul. Nothing. Because, I, you know, your soul knows everything. So that's the only thing you can trust. So stop asking me questions and thinking I know everything because the way to know everything is to know nothing. Once you know nothing, you know all. That's, that's the secret. You see, it's all nothingness. Once you tap into that, like I do this meditation thinking of nothing, and, and I've done it ever since my awakening. I was downloading this information to think of nothing, um, and I've done it for so long now that um, what it does is it basically takes you deeper, deeper within your heart space, and this is why you know, more and more, you know, sounds are physical things to me and physical things are sound because the third eye is volumized because of this nothingness meditation. That's how you volumize your third eye. But anyway, um, I'm just going to end it there. Um, the divine consciousness is every street corner. That's how it arranges everything. That is the thing behind everything. And we all go back to that in this global awakening that we're going through. The state of infant abundance, which is our natural state. Um, and because it's every street corner, it knows every route to take. And I just wanted to end on that note. So if you're watching, the Divine Conscious has arranged for you to watch at this moment. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.